This Earth Day, you might consider looking into ways to reduce microplastic exposure in your life. Experts say microplastics in soil change its structure, reduce water retention, and harm beneficial microbes and earthworms. They're not great for our bodies either. A 2022 study in environmental science and technology found humans may ingest up to 52,000 microplastic particles every year through food and drink alone. Potential risks include inflammation, oxidative stress, and cell damage. I spoke to an entrepreneur about some ways to cut our exposure. Is it like PFAS where they stay in us forever or do we get rid of them somehow? So there is, I mean, they will be in our bodies, but there are ways that we can help our bodies try to naturally detox, basically. And, you know, that's just... Number one, reducing your exposure the best you can, um, reducing the the your interactions with microplastics in your environment, in your home. You know, first of all, just reduces what you're going to have in your body. And, you know, unfortunately, it, it's kind of a scary thought because the, the microplastics are seemingly everywhere. So we just need to, number one, take every little step we can to reduce our exposure. Um, number two, you know, just all the basic things, you know, eat, eat healthy, um, help your body do um, detox when you're able to sweat, when you're able to just drink a lot of water, lemons and things that help your body kind of sweat out as much as you can. Well, this company created spray alternatives to things like makeup and baby wipes, which also uh, contain plastic. Of course they do. New tonight, Tehama County is facing pushback from its own staff as it tries to fill its public